The Think a Swim workaround requires startup from the command line, and the popular question is if it can be run by double clicking an icon like the original Think or Swim. The second version of this video allows you to do that, but you have to enter the password in every time. The video posted about getting rid of the sudo command means that you can run from an icon without having to enter the password each time it is run. The video on getting rid of the sudo command is linked in the description. At some point I will combine the three videos into one. This solution requires using a small script that converts another shell script to an app. The app will pop up a terminal window and then launch Thinkorswim. You need to leave the terminal window up until you close Thinkorswim. There are five steps involved in creating the icon. The first step is to go to the website in the description section with the title How to Create Simple Mac Apps. So that's this one from Shell Scripts and then open up a terminal window. Copy the Shell Script from the Enter Appify section of the web page. So we'll go to the web page and, oops, well that's the author. But this is what the web page looks like. We scroll down to the, uh, the Shell Script and we'll select the whole program and copy it. Um, I already created it so I have to remove it. So we type cat right angle bracket right angle bracket appify then we paste it in then we hit a return and then control D. The second step is to make the program runnable with the command here. So we'll copy that and oops, paste it, hit return. Note that this command is also um, over here. The third step is to create the Thinkorswim program, and uh, that's in the tos.sh section. So we're going to type cat right angle bracket right angle bracket tos.sh, hit return, then we're going to copy the little program here. Paste it here, hit Control D. Then we type this command here. Where are we going over here? Um, yeah, we'll just copy it from here. Oops. Copy, paste, this creates the icon but you can't directly run it so let's go look at uh, the program so um, what we do is we right click and say show package contents then open contents then open mac os and there's the icon so we're going to copy this and then paste it on the desktop you can put it anywhere you want to and let's see is that it okay to run it you double click brings up a terminal window and there's your login screen and you're up and running. Uh, with this particular version you have to leave this terminal window up. Uh, if you close it, it kills Thinkorswim. In the previous version 
you could kill the terminal window after you bring it up. And I think that's because it, uh, you ran it with sudo. Maybe it created a, a, a subprocess that ran in the background. I'm not sure. But that's the difference here. A uh, couple of notes. Um, let's see. There are directions here if you want to use a custom icon. So I guess uh, if you have a PNG image with an icon that you would prefer to use, you can do that. Um, you, I suppose you could even use uh, Ameritrade's icon. Uh, I don't really want to get into that because uh, it may be a copyright issue if I do it here. Uh, you can also change the name of the program to whatever you want. So you could just type in here and then change it to Thinkorswim or TOS or whatever. Um, in the directions, I have asterisks uh, because you can't put right angle brackets in a YouTube description. So where you see the two asterisks, replace them with um, the, the double right angle brackets. It's only done in two places. That's if you cut or paste. If you just type it in yourself, then it's not a problem. So that's it. At some point, I will combine all three of these into one video. That's all for today.